Okay, so um, not much is known about the area now called the Clue prior to the 1800s. The first documents relating to the area were recorded with the arrival of the early board tracker pioneers. So they were the first ones that came into that area. And um, um, Isaac, um, Isaac's expedition was the first European exploration of the area in 1689. Um, um, as he went in, there were hunters and um, uh, people who studied plants and explorers followed um, him into the land as well. And the first European settlers came into the area in uh, 1740. Um, Uh, so records records show that Clue is situated on a farm originally called Kathbelberg, so it was a farmland, and um, it belonged to a pioneer named Andreas Van Tonderen. And um, on June, I mean on July 11th, 1844, he didn't want the land anymore, so he sold it to William Cowie. Um, and then William William Cowie, he came into that area in uh, late 1837 with the uh, board tracker group led by JJ and his son, Pipe Eater, um, sent by KP Landman to meet with the British at Port, Port Natal, which is that area, um, on April 18, 1838, to talk about their settlement and area. So that time when he came in, there were the British that was going to come into that area and, you know, and take, take that land. But then, um, Thirteen months later, he became a land speculator and sold the farm to William Swan Field. Um, so, um, as William Swan Field was uh, the landowner of that area, um, Governor Pine changed the name to be known as R Richmond Number 999. I don't know why. But um, he never lived on the farm, but he visited his brother and family um, constantly. So that's one interesting thing, is that he owned farmland, but he didn't like live there, but he, vi but he visited. And then um, sadly, he died on April 14, 1865 in Cape Town. Um, his brother, which was the brother that lived in the land, named John Coot Field, inherited the farm on October 6, 1867. And, um, and so basically, they said that um, the farm was named Richmond because the farm was uh, probably in honor of the wife of Sir Peregrine Her Maitland, then, which was the governor and commander in chief at the Cape of Good Hope. His wife, Lady Sarah Lennox, was the daughter of Charles Lennox, the fourth Duke of Richmond and Yorkshire, England. Charles Lennox had been the Lord of Ireland from 1807 to 1813. Um, that's important because uh, they have a uh, they knew the families of William Fields and Grace Coot in Ireland, so that's the connection. So it's just in honor of Richmond that I, I don't know that they knew each other. Um, and then, as as he was ruling over the land uh, in the early days, the only means of transport was by means of ox wagon on horseback or on foot. And uh, whenever a ship came into port, the fields would set down butter in barrels, fresh meat and vegetables in exchange, in exchange would receive um, goods, flour, and farm machinery. Um, and one exciting thing that happened was that they had a rail, railway line which um, opened through Pratt's Kloof as area was known to the transport riders by March 1879. Um, and then there was also a wood and iron building next to the site, which was called, which 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 was called Grant's Clue Station. And then um, it was also served um, as the as for the first church services as well. And then on on February first, eighteen ninety six, John Coote Field died. And um, as followed on September twenty seventh, nineteen o one, his wife Elizabeth. Field died, and the land was transferred to their 11 children, which the sons inherited 561 acres, and daughters only 400 acres each. And um, so, as time went past, um, there was confusion caused by the 
um, same names of Krantz Group and Krantz Shop. The railways asked the locals and the Field family for permission to change the name of the station. And then on July 3rd, 1922, it was changed to Krupp, and that's how they got their name. Um, and then um, after 50 signatures were obtained from residents by William Brady, the electricity was brought up in Fields uh, Hill in 1928, and also a dam was built, and uh, running water was piped to houses in 1950. And finally, on, on January 1st, 1961, Kloop obtained borough status, so it became a permit land that was named Kloop. <laughs>